Hello everybody, let us all look at technical view on the equity market. Nifty opened on the negative note today and traded with bearish bias initially. However, near the end of the session, it recovered sharply and ultimately posted a positive daily close. So Nifty has given a positive daily close after four consecutive negative sessions. Uh, overall, Nifty has completed uh, a pullback rally uh, near 78.6% uh, retracement of previous fall and from there it has started new leg on the downside. Uh, the, today's positive close means that it has completed first leg on the downside and a minor degree pullback is possible till uh, 5350, 5375 that is 50% and 61.8% retracement of the 4 day fall. Uh, this is the retracement level of the 4 day fall. Uh, so far it has uh, done more than little more than 38.2% retracement. Uh, however, as long as Nifty trades below 5400 mark or short term bias remains down. Delhi momentum indicator is also trading with bearish bias. On the downside, uh, the rising trend line from previous lows, which is close to 50 to 20 uh, and 61.8% uh, retracement of the previous uh, up move, that is 5190, will be the key short term levels to watch out for. Uh, let us now have a look at uh, Bank Nifty. Bank Nifty has posted a positive daily close after 5 consecutive negative sessions. It is also uh, expected to form a minor degree bounce. However, overall trend remains down for Bank Nifty as well. Momentum indicator is also trading with bearish bias. So, uh, a minor degree bounce should be used as a selling opportunity. Key supports for Bank Nifty are 9890 and 9584 and key resistances are 10330 and 10593. We will now have a look at a uh, couple of stocks which are looking bearish from short term perspective. First is RIL. RIL uh, recently formed a head and shoulders pattern which is a bearish pattern. It broke on the downside and moved up to retest the pattern neckline. Currently uh, it is uh, placed uh, near the neckline. Uh, overall it is heading towards uh, 40 DEMA and below that daily lower Bollinger Band. Momentum indicator is also in sync with uh, expected down move. So key supports for RIL are 764 and 737 and key resistances are 797 and 823. Next stock is uh, DLF. DLF has broken down uh, from a uh, large uh, wedgish pattern, bearish wedge pattern. Uh, it is moving up to retrace the pattern, uh, lower trend line of the pattern. Uh, from there one can initiate fresh short position. Momentum indicator is on the sell side. So DLF is a good candidate to short from short term perspective. Uh, key supports are 188 and 177 and key resistances are 205 and 217. Thank you.